There will be many expectations from South Africans on President Cyril Ramaphosa tonight, key among those, the vaccine rollout. But opposition parties in Parliament are hoping that his pledge over the years to stamp out corruption is met with concrete action. Let's continue our build-up to that address at 7 o'clock tonight. Lindsay Dentlinger at Parliament for us. So, Lindsay, of course, the pandemic once again exposed how the endemic of corruption is still within the state. What can the president say this time around to make South Africans believe those responsible are actually being held accountable? Shahad, I'm afraid I don't think the president is going to have a, a very um, a concise report back on corruption tonight. Unfortunately, opposition parties uh, say over the last four years he's made so many promises uh, about bolstering uh, law enforcement, bolstering prosecution to bring those responsible uh, to book. But as you point out there, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic once again exposed how endemic corruption is. Uh, and to talk a little bit about that, the man who keeps his eyes eyes uh, on that corruption and there's the man who's supposed to interrogate those figures and ensure that those responsible are held to account here in Parliament is the IFP's Mkuleko Shlengwa, the chairperson of the Standing Committee on Public Accounts. Mkuleko, thank you for joining us again. Corruption endemic uh, in the state. What does the president say tonight that will give South Africans the confidence that something is being done about it? The president will have to issue an injunction to National Treasury for more funding be made available to law enforcement agencies so they can actually keep up with the work that they have. The work is a lot. We had the SIU last, um, yesterday um, briefing us on the outcomes of the um, first phase of the investigation into the PPP corruption. I want to congratulate the SIU for a job well done and the collaboration between Parliament and law enforcement agencies is gaining strength day by day precisely because we are having these engagements and interactions. But tonight the president really has to put um, his money where his mouth is. He's made the statements of intent before he's made commitments, uh, but the law enforcement agencies need the resources and to actually keep up. And so that's where the fight has to be. There are people in this very uh, parliament who are being implicated in corruption. Many opposition parties saying the president needs to clean house within his own party first before he can uh, clean up the state. What promises uh, can the president, how, how does he deliver on this when the reality is we've seen no big fish being brought to book? Well, the president will have to actually take this matter back to the ANC as well in their decision-making bodies. That they actually issue a message to South Africans that is consistent and uh, one of clarity. You've got step aside, step down, there's no certainty. And so political will becomes a major factor here. Um, if we are to win the fight against um, corruption. So the consequence management really needs to be birthed within the ANC itself. But I dare say that across political parties um, as well, there has to be a general political will um, to get um, these things done. And so the president will have to be bold. If he wants his legacy to be consistent with his vision of a new door, he's going to have to crack the whip on corruption. And that means bolstering also the security cluster in cabinet, but also we have to, as parliament, step up to the plate as well to make sure that we perform our duties, functions and responsibilities. State capture currently not painting a good picture. Do I agree with it? Yes. Parliament has to seriously reflect about how it also deals um, with this. You're preempting what I was just about to say. MPs past and present have recently testified before the state capture inquiry um, and openly uh, admitting that Parliament dropped the ball for whatever reason in, in uh, ex exercising that oversight. Is Parliament up to the task? Is your committee up to the task to hold those responsible uh, for corruption accountable? Without running the risk of blowing our own trumpet, but I want to categorically say without any fear of contradiction that the men and women deferred to scope and the SIF administration have demonstrated beyond any doubt that they understand the gravity of the situation and the, the full appreciation uh, of the responsibilities and the teamwork is good. But the issue of Parliament as a whole it has to be a discussion that the presiding officers lead as we roll out the new strategic plan of Parliament in terms of our I do want to say that there has to be reforms in the electoral system in this country. And I've made mention fact of this last day already and I want to reiterate it again. That we have to go to constituency-based 
the system, not of course with PR, but the heavy hand of political parties over MPs is in itself a, a problem because there's no political party accountability. We hold everybody else accountable but the political parties that deploy, and that has to be created as a means of strengthening the democratic outlook of parliament as the constitution dictates. Thank you very much, Mkaleko. So, Shahan, uh, amongst those many things uh, you were playing, uh, some clips there of ordinary South Africans saying jobs, uh, un uh, unemployment, really their concern, but all of this cannot happen while the state remains a corrupt one, and it's here in parliament uh, where the responsibility lies to hold those responsible accountable. Yeah, definitely the case. Thanks for the update. We'll speak to you at four o'clock. Lindsay Dentlinger.